All right, have a little glitch on wood, possum on scaffolding cranes, putting things back together. Um, as I said, distracts a bit, but it's trying to restore as much as possible and put things back together. And this is very large, it's massive. over a bit. Look at this other uh, temple. It's the Caryatids. The sun is starting to come out a bit. And uh, apparently there was another temple in the middle here, but when the Persians uh, attacked Athens, uh, they destroyed it, but they left up most of the other structures as a goodwill uh, feature to say, you know, we're here, but we're not going to destroy everything. Hopefully the Greeks would uh, not take it too badly, but uh, the Greeks did. Okay, just looking at everything. Up at the very top, there's some uh, sculptures and what's left of them. A lot of the real beautiful ones were taken by Lord Elgin and brought to Europe, or England in Europe. And they're still there, and the Greek government is still demanding them back. And they just haven't worked it out yet. But you can see the caryatids. There's like a bite this hill, like a bit of hill. Athens again, just everywhere. All right, uh, sounds like the uh, archaeologists and workers are starting their day, getting the crane going. But, uh, you can see, quite large, impressive, and must have been something else when it was all intact. Those white sections are all new. Uh, I'm trying to fill in pieces. See the base is at the bottom there, stone steps. More pieces here, just who knows where they go, pan around. More pieces. Um, a lot of stuff was also taken away to build the other structures over the centuries. There's the temple there. We'll take a little walk down the steps. Not really steps, it just Stones scattered everywhere. Let's watch where you're going. The sun is shining on this really nicely. Duh. And we'll actually look at the the sign. There you go. That's the word. Erechtheon. And there's the uh, copies of the caryatids. All right, Let's see if we can get a little close up. Uh, some singing in the background, I'm not sure what that is. But, you know. People come up here for all kinds of reason. Ah, they're raising the Greek flag. Must be the national anthem. The sun is really blinding us, so I'm not quite sure what we're seeing. That's interesting. And there's the soldiers singing, holding their guns, all at attention. Interesting. And nice little side feature. Got to get here early to have witness that. Okay, I guess they're done. And we'll pan over. Go look at uh, more of Athens. You can hear sirens off in the distance. It's a wild and crazy city. Parts of it are really nice, but most of it is just you know, sprawl and 
you know, craziness and traffic is just terrible. So if you just stay in a certain area, you'll have a really good time. I mean, Tavernas everywhere, all mostly good uh, service and food. Okay, looking at the side of the Parthenon we're on. There's that temple with the caryatids. You know, even though it's in, I guess, a ruined state, it's still pretty impressive. It's much more intact and a lot of ruins you see, not just in Greece, but uh, Italy and Middle East, uh, many other ancient countries. All right, some more rocks and stones and pieces. You can see some uh, carvings there. And uh, oh, soldiers are finishing up their uh, morning duties there. Pieces of a column, old walls, base of columns. There's the Parthenon. Yeah, soldiers are marching around now. Okay, here they come marching, looking right into the sun, so I'm not sure how this is going to look. More pieces. And that's them uh, stomping around in the background. And we'll go look over the wall here. And there's a better view of Athens, if you want to call it a better view. It's just, it just goes on and on. Some of the high points right in the city there. Look at this hill. Have a hill over there. Come the soldiers. Uh, here's the, the back of the Parthenon. See up at the top, there's uh, sculptures and things. Um, come the soldiers. I guess we can get a few images of them. But, uh, this back side of the Parthenon is uh, fully exposed. Um, it's close in a little bit. You can see Started the arches at the tops there, either side, the middle part is gone, probably blown off when that uh, munitions exploded. But there are images that you can barely see at the top. Um, the horse there, figures. Um, pretty interesting. Okay, wandering around a bit. More pieces. Um, you can see decorative features on them. Um, maybe some type of little cisterns or urns or things like that. Um, try to walk carefully here. Okay. Moving closer to the uh, Parthenon. Very uneven stones up here, so there must have been like a uh, dedicated path in the old times to walk around here. And there's all kinds of people getting photos taken standing in front of the Parthenon and all that, which is cool, I guess. But you can see inscriptions up near the top and get a little better close up of what remains of whatever carvings are up there, but a lot of this stuff is you know, taken off. And you can see up in that little cornice area, a uh, figure prone to the left, uh, top parts of horses. So I'm sure they all had certain meetings. 
back up a bit. Keep walking. Okay, here's some more pieces. Good decorative features there, some uh, ancient Greek uh, inscription. Can't read Greek, unfortunately. All right, moving around. Just more pieces. There's a little temple here at one time to one of the many gods. Um, some tops there of the uh, columns, little scrolls. There's a platform, I'm pretty close now. There's the figure with the horses. Some more outlines of what was once up there. We get a little closer. You can see the base of columns there, tops. Get a little closer. Now you can make out what was there. It's faint, but definitely noticeable. You can see holes just above the tops of the columns, so they must have held pieces of marble in place, possibly. Um, there's the inside of the Parthenon. Um, the temple of uh, statue of uh, Athena in there, but long gone. Um, so, quite impressive. And we'll go around to the other side. More pieces. Big jigsaw puzzle. Alright, we're over to the other side of the Parthenon. It's more uh, archaeological structures here. Um, looks like they're gathering pieces of what was up at the temple over there on the left side and tables and benches trying to like maybe figure out where they go. Um, we got a very movable type of crane here that can move heavy stones. Um, let's just walk around little pieces. Um, more pieces. You know, ancient canon. I don't think it goes back to the Greeks, but maybe when the Turks, or the Ottomans, later known as the Turks, were here, or the Venetians, big pieces. Okay, we're looking towards south direction of Athens, and there's just more sprawl. Every direction you go. To look down over the walls, yeah, unbelievable height. See more uh, structures, remains of structures, temples. Um, there's the uh, theater to Dionysus, or Dionysus. Um, that's probably all original down there. Um, long way down, another small temple over there. It's just more stuff, actually, some green areas. Over to a hill with another archaeological feature. You can see the Aegean Sea way off in the distance. Some ferries and other boats out there. Um, it's probably where the port of Piraeus is located. And this is just a little pictorial uh, description of the restoration from when Greece first became all got its independence in the 1830s from the Ottomans and all the work that's been done since. And it looks like they're really doing much more work on this side at this point. Uh, just a very massive structure. Okay, I'm gonna continue on here. Uh, not quite as interesting on this side because a lot of it's covered up by uh, work buildings and uh, another feature here. Might have been some type of a 
cistern or a canal. Um, some more of the top of the walls. Views of Athens. There's the new Acropolis Museum over there. There's a lot of uh, stuff taken from the Acropolis and other areas. And you can see down below how this whole area was uh, a major focal point for Athens back you know, 22,000, 2,500 years ago. Just filled with all kinds of um, temples and theaters and places to religious rites. Um, here's a corner of the Parthenon that's really getting a lot of work. Uh, trying to just stabilize everything. You can see pieces just everywhere. Truly amazing. Okay, we're gonna move on a little bit. Sun's starting to come up, warming up. So far, so good. Really, not that many people, considering how packed this area would be late morning and the rest of the afternoon. Um, you know, there's still got workers going on here. So it's a little weird seeing something from 2,500 years ago when, when there's cranes and, uh, you know, forklifts and staging and okay there's the theater more stuff down below I'll get down there a little earlier a little later I should say um, Athens again so this must have been quite the place back in the old days all right, I'm gonna walk around. There's the front that we first saw. It's really just covered in staging. So it's too bad in a way, but in a way it's good because it's important to try to restore as much as possible. And at some point, it'll be done, and then it'll be even more spectacular. But here's walls. Main steps up to the Parthenon. More stuff everywhere. And continue up a bit. See, there's a piece or a fragment of a piece of a sculpture that wasn't looted. It's quite an impressive structure. Okie dokie. Spin around here. There's the main entrance to the Acropolis. Mm, you can see where the arches were in the right hand corner. Swing around. Carry it to its. But the difference is when there's hardly any people here, you get just move about a lot more easier, get better photos and videos. Um, You can just see the uh, the stones up here. It's like an old place for water, and uh, I don't know how level this was at one time. I think it'd been probably a little more of a peak, just like uh, Mount Lighties over there. But well, who knows? Um, right now, it's just lots of stones from. This area was created in geological times. So, this is the Acropolis, October 2016. And we'll be heading out and maybe do some more exploring on the uh, southern side.
So I've been up here a number of times, taking lots of photos, but never did a video. 